you know, over 5 million kids diagnosed with ADHD, 8 million adults uh, diagnosed at one point. So there's a, that's a lot that's of a lot. medication mm -hmm. being circulated out there. And it is a problem because uh, the, the DEA, you know, has to release some amphetamine to, to the drug manufacturers mm -hmm. to make this, but they don't want too much of it out there because if there's a lot of the stockpiles, then it's easier for that to get and, into the wrong hand. Yeah. And Jim, your specialty, I mean, you're, you're, you're in the front lines when it comes to making that call, evaluating kids at that age. Yeah. Is it being overdiagnosed? Oh, without a doubt. A lot of the times, this is diagnosed in just one quick appointment. You know, doctor, I'm having a hard time. Uh, paying attention, I think I have ADHD. Okay, well, what are your symptoms? I can't pay attention. Okay, well, here's your prescription. You and think that is, doctors that is are just pressured dead by parents? Wrong. Again, oh, yeah, for that yeah, there's quick a lot fix. of pressure. The yeah. kids, you know, oftentimes their grades aren't, aren't doing well, and there's a lot of pressure to, to, to succeed in school, and, mm -hmm. and they want the quick but fix. It's probably like, not in their best interest. Yeah, and so it's not another... because there's side effects. There's, you know, stunted growth, mm -hmm. appetite suppression, depression in kids, even. And we don't really don't know the long term effects mm -hmm. of this. You know, you can't just diagnose this in one quick appointment. There's got to be kind of a multi uh, faceted approach to this. So let's yeah. acknowledge that some kids obviously yeah. benefit greatly oh, yeah. from mm -hmm. being and on these do. medications. In some cases, maybe some they don't, don't need to be on medicines. Mm -hmm. What are things that parents can emphasize to their kids to do if they're trying to avoid these medications? Right, and that's a, a, a talk I have with my parents when we do diagnose that. And, and it's easy, it's not rocket science. Simple uh, five to 10 to 20 minutes of exercise in the morning before school. Even if you can walk to school, that can make a huge difference in how you pay attention. If you uh, eat better, omega-3s, omega-3 oil supplements or eating a lot of fish, has a huge impact on how your brain works. Uh, sugar, with these parents, I say, okay, if we're gonna start the medication, before that, I want you to try at least two weeks of not just, not a, a no sugar diet, but just a normal, uh, healthy diet. You know, just cut out all that extra sugar, soda, juice, uh, cookies, all, all the stuff that kids really don't need all the time. Cut it way down, and many times I get a call a week later from the parent, hey, Dr. Jim, we fixed the problem. I don't need the, the prescription, we're good.